Hey, how's it going? I'm Landon. Welcome to my channel. It's another uh, hot and steamy day here in Ottawa, Canada. I don't know why I said that. Who cares? Um, <laughs> got another unboxing here. Maybe you saw the uh, title, so you know exactly what it is already. But we're going to open it up on camera and check it out. Um, so summer NAM didn't happen this year, obviously, because of all the restrictions with uh, COVID and everything being cancelled. So NAM, uh, summer NAM should have been, I think, in June. I forget if it's June or July. Um, so it looks like uh, the companies are still releasing their guitars that they had scheduled and uh, I didn't really keep on top of everything because I usually follow that stuff when it's happening by reading articles and watching some videos. Uh, I didn't follow the uh, what Squire was releasing but somebody, I got some messages, people are like, hey did you look at the Squire Paranormal guitars and which ones do you like? And I, I glanced at them quickly and I really didn't really, nothing really appealed to me too much except for one and it's this one that I got here. The uh, the Toronado, Toronado, however you want to say it, reminds me of Cameron, Camionero from The Simpsons. It's an episode where Homer invented a car. I think that's the one, if I'm thinking correctly. Um, that one, I saw that, and then uh, the pictures I saw, though, the, uh, the Laurel fretboard didn't appeal to me. But then I saw a video from Anderton's, and Danish Pete had one. He was playing one in, in one of the parts of the videos, and the guitar looked amazing, and that that did it for me there. I thought, you know what, yeah, okay, that's the one of all the whole series, of all the paranormal models, that's the one I'm going to check out. And um, when I went to look at it, the price is actually one of the lower ones too. So we're going to check it out. We're going to open it up, uh, take a look at it. It's another offset guitar. Again, I got it from uh, a local store called Fleet Pro Sound in uh, Ottawa. And uh, pretty sure they unpack everything and put it on the put it on the rack and then they rebox it if you buy it online. So hopefully... Yeah, I can tell it's not a factory seal because they take the staples out, which is nice because those staples are killer. If you've ever opened a box with those giant staples, you can kill yourself with those. You could uh, cut your hands pretty bad. I'm not being serious, but they are pretty bad. And they really taped it good. So, yeah, out of all the models, none of the other ones really appealed to me. And a lot of people thought, you know, hey, if you're big on tellies, the offset telly, they thought the offset telly would do it for me. I don't know, it just doesn't really, uh, just doesn't do it, right? There's just certain certain uh, formulas of looks and styles that, that'll do it. Oh, that's pretty cool. Let's uh, keep that there for now. Oh, this is, uh, oh, okay, before I open this. So I just did another unboxing recently. I don't know why I just yelled. I'm not that excited. Uh, I opened up, uh, my last video was a Squire Mini Jazzmaster. Something an idiot. Um, and I said, uh, my expectations were that it's going to be a cheap guitar because that's like probably the lowest end Squires. This one I'm expecting it to be somewhere between an, an, an affinity and an, 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 stuff to say between an affinity and the classic vibe line. So if it like in the classic vibe line is their top of the line Squire stuff. Those things are impressive. Like uh, I've had a few and I really really like them. So already the packaging here is better than the. Uh, the player series Mexican guitars. Maybe they took some stuff out here. I don't know exactly if, if this is exactly how it was unboxed, but look at that. We've got a cardboard box for the neck. It's pretty cool. Oh wow, this is oh yeah, this is nice. This is futuristic. So this is the paranormal series. This is a, a model, it's hard to get up, that was uh, it's a reissue. Stop a second here. Losing my Did that catch on camera? Elastic flipped off. Losing my Oh, this is packaged pretty well. Put that there. It's all wrapped up. Don't drop it. Don't drop it. I'm good. Uh, something flew up. Okay, so I always get off topic. Paranormal series. Uh, the Tornado was a model released by Fender in uh, 1998. And I'm just going from memory, these numbers. I just learned this in the past couple of days. And uh, so we got the Squire book and a couple of Allen keys. Pretty standard. And an elastic that flew in. Almost hit me in the face. Yeah, so this is a reissue kind of, I guess. It's not really a, a new guitar, but it's... I've never seen that before. That's, I guess, that's to stop the aliens from reading its, its mind or something. I don't know. Oh, this is cool. Very nicely packaged. Definitely more packaging. Okay, that's the one thing. If you watch... Uh, come on. If you see uh, my video, I did a player series guitar. The Strat. 
they really don't uh, do too much to those Mexican Mexican uh, the packaging isn't anything to, what is he saying spit it out I can't do two things at once I can tap the top of my head and rub my belly okay you know what I hate this part so I'm just gonna rip the bag because uh, I really hate the sounds don't like it Ooh. don't like it no squeakies <laughs> oh, 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 look at that blue. <laughs> that's what did it for me. And that's uh, oral fretboard's pretty nice too. There we go. I hope I didn't stop myself from saying something that I was about to say before. Uh, right off the bat, this is the same kind of quality as the Classic Vibe series. For sure. Absolutely. I've seen enough of them to know. So I'm super impressed with that already, just the look of it. Um, let me just tie you up here a second. So much packaging. Which is good, because I'm going to mention something here for a second. Got all this packaging. I'm sending away a guitar. If you haven't already, don't forget to enter to win uh, Squire Affinity that I'm giving away. I'll put the, uh, the link up there. You can check it out. Oh, wow. I just saw something that really impressed me. Man. Holy crap. And I'll tell you what it is that I did not expect. And I mean, you know, people are impressed by certain things. I just got impressed by something. And uh, so, you know, this is just a, a quick, quick unboxing and uh, initial tone test. I'll plug it in in a second and then I'll do a full deep dive. The thing I was going to mention that just impressed me is these knobs are the real kind. What I mean by that is they're not the little pop on plastic ones. Well, there's some that are, uh, I think on the, probably the bullet telly and the affinity telly, they're the kind that just snap on with pressure. These are the official ones that have the actual little screw adjustment to connect. I mentioned I watched that Anderton's video. That's where I've learned everything about this guitar so far. I'll uh, quickly go over th everything. Just a quick walk down here. Vintage style frets, square Tornado made by Fender. This is crafted in China. This is a 2020, brand new. Glossy neck, it's uh, a Yanni fretboard. What did he say? Laurel fretboard. Laurel Yanni, however you want to say it. If you don't know what I'm talking about, then don't worry about it. Uh, damn, this is a, uh, man, I'm really impressed by this. This is, and so was Danish Pete. If you don't know that video, I'll, I'll put it in the description or in the link. He was impressed by it too. Am I even saying his name right? Shoot, I'm just like kind of blown away by the quality of this thing. Damn, uh, four eighty nine in Canada, three ninety nine in the U.S. And I paid I paid full price. I bought it at a store. Um, I'm getting uh, very distracted by the the color, which is Tide Pool. No, Tide Pool. No, that's my other one. This one is uh, Lake Placid Blue, Tortoise Pick Guard. Not huge fan of the tortoise, and that's a four ply. Wow, damn, they really went all out here. Um, I believe these are called Atomic Humbuckers. Atomic style bridge, three-way selector. Where is it? Up here. It's pretty solid. Pretty solid. I want to just plug it in. Let's uh, let's do that in a second here. It's blown away. Uh, what I meant about the tortoise, uh, it looks, it definitely works with this guitar. It's just not my favorite color. Um, something also I'm not used to is the uh, the uh, control cavity on the back. So basically, they're going like with uh, a Les Paul style. It's 24 three quarter inch scale. I think this has been, let's bring that down a bit here. I think it's been set up at the store, which I appreciate. That's really cool. I'm not plugged in with my full sound to get the, uh, the capture. It's just gonna be the microphone on my camera. I didn't even look at what the fretboard radius is. First thing I like to check is the uh, frets and their Flawless. They're flawless. They're perfect. Wow. Man. It's, uh, I, I don't, uh, I'm kind of speechless because I, I, I thought it was going to be good, like from that video. And now I'm actually really kind of blown away by it. This thing is crazy cool. Let's plug it in before I lose my mind. Jack on the bottom. Hey, Jack. It's got the tummy cut. String through bridge. I don't recognize what that kind of, that's a, definitely a different style of bridge. Let me know. If I'm screwing up these specs, hold on one sec here. 
you know, I try to uh, read about it and then remember what everything is. Two tone, two volume. So if I'm missing, if I'm messing anything up, missing or messing, let me know. <laughs> down a bit. This is my AC-15, right? Peaking, but that's not the point of this. Get a little bit, uh, let's get a little bit of dirt here. play this long in these uh, unboxings but I'm really loving this guitar. Let's get some clean. Ah, a little bit sticky. It's got the glossy neck so it is, I don't know if you heard that me trying to slide up. videos I don't usually get excited uh, damn wow Whew. What can I say the uh, the reaction that Danish Pete had in his video that was legit that was the real deal because man he was looking it over and I'm like yeah you know it's they're selling stuff uh, but wow it's like a sparkle like plastic blue holy man I can't wait to do the full review of this anyways uh, I've totally lost my train of thought I've gone off the rails this was uh, an, an unboxing, and you can see my initial impressions are pretty favorable, beyond favorable. Man, I just want to go play this now. So nice. Uh, check, um, I have Instagram. Check my Instagram because I'm going to post a bunch of pictures, close-ups. I always do close-ups. And then I'm going to start working on my uh, full review, deep dive. We're going to look inside this guitar. Wow, how is this so cheap? Like, I mean, price... Like, I mean, I know 489 is not cheap, but relatively, I've got other guitars here that are twice the price or triple the price. Wow. Huh. I don't, I don't know how they're doing it. Hopefully this helped distract you from everything that's going on in the world because it's distracting me and then I got to blah, 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 lose my mind. Um, it's very hot here today too. So, okay. That's going to do it for this video. Probably. And did I already say that? I don't, I don't know. I'm totally not with it now. I've, gone off a tangent oh man this is so cool this is a great guitar um let me know if you've tried the other paranormal guitars now i'm really interested in trying the other ones um i'll put uh some links to uh, i've got uh, amazon affiliate and a uh, toman affiliate if you want to get this guitar depending where you are in the world um if you're interested take a look and check back soon i'll try to do a, a full uh deep dive video on this guitar to really capture the tones in a different variety of uh setups with uh, dirt and clean and you know different effects going through it all through Vox AC15 which I don't know if I mentioned is off camera there that I'm recording so uh, again I'm Landon if you haven't already subscribed to my channel don't forget to enter the contest for the, uh, the Strat Infinity Strat as always play guitar and have fun and I'll see you in the next video take care did I turn it off? POTS <laughs>
Thank you.